Hello, Claire here with Backcountry Buddies Dog Training. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about dog aggression. Um, so at Backcountry Buddies, we do a whole lot of social time, um, very controlled socializing. And um, I think a lot of people are amazed at the dogs that we can have commingling at any given point. For example, I have a 12 year old Newfoundland with um, arthritis and hip dysplasia. She's not doing so well, um, but she's out mingling with a six month old German Shepherd puppy, a one year old Belgian Malinois, a border terrier that he's a terrier so he always borders on having dog aggression. Um, he's just not a huge fan of socializing and then an eight pound chihuahua. So I'm not going to get into too much of it but what I want to talk to you about is the deal I strike with dog aggressive dogs as far as socializing goes. So First things first, I want you to know that if you're struggling with dog aggression, seek help from a balanced trainer in your area that has a really good reput reputation and experience with dog aggression. So that's my first thing. The second thing is the, the deal that I strike is for dog aggressive dogs, one, I am going to take away the option for aggression. So they are not allowed to walk up to a dog and start a fight or be rude. Um, it's no longer an option. We're going to use meaningful consequences to show the dog that that is no longer their MO. On the other hand, I'm not going to do that and take away their main defense. I feel like that's really not very nice. Um, they're aggressive for a reason. They're fearful, they're pushy, um, something happened to them in a previous life. To just take away their main defense as a mammal um, and not provide some sort of alternative is not not nice in my opinion. So the deal is that if I'm going to take this away, I'm giving you something else. And that is ultimate protection from dogs that frighten you, dogs that don't respect your space, etc. I'm going to provide you with protection and I'm going to have ultimate control over other dogs that you experience. So that may mean no dog park tricks, trips because obviously Lots of people out there have no control over their dogs and let them off leash all the time. So um, in my environment, um this is where this is going to happen. And I have seen amazing results because of this. Because I'm able to control out of control dogs, I'm able to read body language and see when other dogs are being rude to a dog, aggressive dog, and I'm able to call them away, then the fact me taking away aggression as an option isn't so bad. They learn other ways to cope. For example, typically a dog aggressive dog in their first social situations in which this deal or interaction is taking place, they're a little bit weird. They're sad, they're mopey, they don't know what to do with themselves, tail tuck, they do pacing, um, or they'll become a Velcro dog, so they'll just stick to me. In the first phases of this, I don't mind. You can be a Velcro dog, you can stick with me if that's what makes you feel safe, because I'm just showing them, hey, this is, this is the new structure we have going on. But in later phases, I have seen these dog aggressive dogs um, go from velcro -y, mopey, weird, to confident, happy, and generally neutral. So I wanted to make a video on that today because I was looking around my yard and I'm like, I have a smorgasbord of dogs here and they are all commingling peacefully, but not without some effort. So I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you next time.